The following program is being brought to you on the Voice America Women's Channel. For more information about our network and to check out additional show hosts and topics of interest, please visit voiceamericawomen.com. The Voice America Talk Radio Network is the worldwide leader in live Internet talk radio. Visit voiceamerica.com. The views and ideas expressed on the following program are strictly those of the host or guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and ideas held by the Voice America Talk Radio Network, its staff and management. Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome to the show, everyone. I hope that you had a beautiful week and Tuesday is finding you well or whatever day you have the opportunity to listen to our show. But we always love it when you're able to join us live. Just energetically can feel that and we love the interaction. So I welcome everyone to our show today. And we're going to be talking about success and star power today. And I think there are a lot of misunderstandings around success and what it is to really step into your star power. So I just wanted to give a couple comments on that as we approach today. And I have two experts that are going to share their insights around success and star power, both from a, a practical numbers type of perspective, as well as a very holistic, really aligning who you are with your success path perspective. So we're going to bring both of those perspectives into our time together today. So success, I believe it's really important to pause and think about how you define success. Not how someone else defines it. And what I find in life is that I live for many, many years letting somebody else define it versus figuring out what my own definition was. And that led me on a path where I climbed a lot of ladders. I moved through a couple of different corporate positions. And I was, it looked great on the outside. I had a lot of the markings of success the way I had understood it because I let someone else define it and had the car, had the house, had the title, etc. And I ended up feeling a little bit empty when I got there because, and then disillusioned because I thought that was success and if this is how it feels, I'm not sure I like this. And then I would go chase another person's definition of success. So it took me a while to really figure out what my definition is. And then once I had that clarity, then I could start building a path to get there. So I invite you today on our time together to really pause and start asking these questions and listen to what your definition is. And then star power, I define as really stepping into the center stage of your life and be willing to shine, really bring all of who you are forward in life, not waiting for permission, not waiting for someone else to give you direction. It's your stage. It's your life. It's not a dress rehearsal. So that's part of how I describe stepping into your star power. And I was reflecting on these things as I was getting ready for the show to get today. And I thought about my definition of success and opportunities I've had to step into my star power. And part of my definition of success is really being able to bring all of who I am forward and to impact others in a positive way that I want to bring myself forward, not hold parts of myself back, and serve and make a difference in the world. And I was at an event recently, and it was sold out, so I was really blessed to have my event sold out. And in the audience was my dad. And this is the first time he has seen me speak in this type of an environment, in this type of way. He's heard me talk about Um, financial information before and and brief little presentations around that, but never sharing in this way really my story and the journey that we went on. And my story had a rough start and my father rescued me from that environment. 
and really is a hero in my life. And so it was neat not only to stand up there in a sold out event, lots and lots of people on a stage shining and sharing my story, standing in my power. On top of that, I got to acknowledge one of the heroes in my life right then and there live who is part of that success and part of my journey. And it was a really, really special moment to me, a highlight in my life. And I would invite you to start visualizing what your definition of success is and how would you share it with others? How would you stand in that space and who are some of the people that you would love to have there? I think when we can start visualizing it and seeing it and putting feelings and texture and sense, etc. with it, with that experience, it becomes more real because we're bringing in more of our senses. So there were two reasons I wanted to share a little bit of that today. Is one, it's Father's Day month. And so my father has been a real hero in my life. And I wanted to take a moment and thank him and acknowledge him. And all of those males that we have in our life that have impacted us, that have made a difference in our life. And I think this is a beautiful time to pause and think about that and just lift them up. Breathe that in together and thank them. And then secondly, I wanted you to think about your own definition of success and star power. What do those mean to you? How can you step into the center stage of your life and really step into your, not someone else's, your definition of success? And what I'd love to have you do, and my guests, if I could have you join us as well, I want you to take a cleansing, deep, opening breath with me, expansive. And those of you who are driving, please be safe. Keep your eyes open, hands on the wheel. But those of you who are able to, I invite you to close your eyes, put both feet on the floor, ground yourself, center yourself, put one hand on your heart, one hand on your head, and close your eyes. Breathe in deeply with me. And as we're doing that, this is what I invite you to do with us, to really open up your eyes. And, and what I mean, not literally opening your eyes physically, keep them closed, but kind of open up your vision to really see what it is that you need and that would serve and support you and what your definition of success is. Ears to hear that if there's anything clogging or blocking, that that's removed and you can really hear what's here for you today that will serve you at the highest level. In your heart, that you will open it, connect with it deeply, be in rhythm with your own heartbeat and rhythm and message in life. That you will connect deeply with all of you today as you're listening to what is being called forth and shared. So one more deep breath in. And ask yourself, self, what is it I need today that will help me either further define my definition of success, maybe move towards it, perhaps move a little more towards the center stage of my life, more of my star power, what is it I need today? And then what is it that I need to recognize and hear and receive? One more deep breath in. And when you're ready, go ahead and open up your eyes, come back into the room. And I want you to just sit there for a moment and whatever information you received, capture. Write it down. Sometimes it's thoughts. Sometimes it's feelings. Sometimes it's um, an emotion. It can be a picture. Whatever wisdom or information you were given, capture. Because it's easy to lose it or forget. <laughs> Beautiful. 
And with that, Gail, I don't know if you had something laid upon your heart that you wanted to share with our listeners today. Yes, thank you, Rebecca. Um, Mm -hmm. I actually thought of it as well during my morning meditation, and it was to reward myself Mm. um, that I can be the center of my my world, I'm, I do my own strategic planning, I can do, work my own vision, but I can also give myself, you know, a reward certificate or, you know, acknowledge that I'm making progress in my business. Thank you. I love that. I just had a picture as you were sharing that that made me smile. Just imagine if we created our own certificates of completions or certificates of excellent and we gave ourselves that gold star. I used to love that gold star in school. <laughs> the little <laughs> sticker. <laughs> and and really give ourselves acknowledgement like that. I love that. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Jen, how about you? Did you have something laid on your heart to share with us today? Yes, I did, Rebecca. Thank you for asking. You know, the thing that came to me was about peace, allowing myself Mm -hmm. the peace to be where I am in this moment, you know, and to really see the bigger picture because sometimes I get panicked about, oh, I'm supposed to do this because I really want to achieve it. And, you know, I forget that the bigger picture and staying in a place of peace really grounds me to where I'm going. I love that. Thank you, Jen. I think that's really wise to be peaceful where we're at and appreciate that. Because I think if we're always, and I have to watch this with myself. That's what I was just identifying with what you shared. (laughs) That I can get so caught up in what I'm building and the future and where I'm going with things. That sometimes I'm not as present in the moment. And I miss out on life if I do that. I can miss all the beauty and wisdom and information and full experience I can have right in the moment if I'm always, in a sense, living in the future and planning ahead or in the big vision. And so I think that's a beautiful, beautiful reminder to be peaceful or add, enjoy it, and not be robbed from the moment and experience it fully. So thank you so much, Jen. I appreciate that. Take a deep breath in, everyone. And as we're getting ready to go to our first commercial break, we just have another minute. Here's the thought I want to give you. And then when we come back, we're going to be talking with my experts and really picking their brains on a practical and profound level on these subjects. But what I really want to encourage you to do is to think about what is the world that you want to live in? So really leaning into the future Fully appreciating you're here today because today we're going to serve and feed you and give you what you need. But I also want you looking forward with anticipation. So both pieces, what it is, if you could design the world any way that you like, your world, your sphere of influence, what is it that you would have? I was thinking about that, that famous speech, I have a dream. What is your dream, your vision, your definition of success? that you want to start leaning to and claiming. So really ponder that as we go to our first commercial break. And we'll look forward to talking to you when you come back and really digging into these subject matters powerfully. So we'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. Your favorite Voice America Talk Radio Network shows and hosts are in your car, outdoors, and wherever you need them to be. Listen anywhere. Get our mobile app for iPhone, BlackBerry, or Android at the Apple iTunes App Store, BlackBerry App World, or Android Market. Are you struggling with changing or re-entering your career? Terry Hockett, CEO of What's for Work and Transitional Career Strategist, works with her clients to craft their personal brand, gain clarity, and create career opportunities. Terry helps her clients discover and stand in their value and learn the tools and techniques needed to successfully navigate today's changing job market. Start today with your free membership. Step powerfully into the career of your dreams. Join Terry at whatsforwork.com. 
Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for people like you. With just one seven-minute audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities. This is a dynamic way to share your message, reach more people, and expand your impact. Apply now at yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Finalists get to audition live in front of community leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Don't wait. Find out more. Visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Become our friend on Facebook. Post your thoughts about our shows and network on our timeline. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you got a moment to really ponder some of these things that we've been talking about and really lean in to what it is that you need today and what your definition of success is and star power and setting, stepping into your, your center stage of your life. And what is your dream, your vision of what you're wanting to create and bring forward in your life? Balanced with being fully present now. And that's a very powerful place to be grounded, fully present, yet leaning towards the future and having clarity in what that is being created and built and how it looks and feels. So with that, I'm excited to transition into our first expert interview with the amazing Gail Bodie. And this is where we're really going to be looking at things from a a practical number perspective, but you're going to find profound elements in this as well. And Gail is some, I love you, Gail, by the way. (laughs) I'm glad to have you. (laughs) you. (laughs) You're welcome. (laughs) And Gail had a calling early in her life. And I think this is really unique and special about her that she started working in the family business, the family grocery store, when she was just eight years old. And she had visions and dreams of starting her own business in bookkeeping and accounting and operations and really helping and empowering people in that way. She loved it. And at eight years old, those seeds were planted of what she has become today. And that's what she does. She works with businesses and entrepreneurs and helps them with their bookkeeping in a lot of different ways. And she's a creative accountant. (laughs) You didn't have that in the official bio, but I'm using that. (laughs) She approaches things in a very creative way to play to your strengths and build um, systems that make sense for you in your life and what you're doing and actually empowers you in that area. So I really appreciate those things about you, Gail, and I officially welcome you to the show. Rebecca, thank you so much. And yeah, I appreciate that. I do like the creative, artistic, um, outside the box thinking mm-hmm. part of what I do. Exactly, exactly. Now, you got this calling awfully early in life and stayed very true to this is what you wanted to bring forward and how you wanted to impact the world. But can I ask why? Why that was something that was so interesting and exciting to you and even throughout your life that to this day, this is still what you do. Do you mind sharing your why with us? Sure. Um, I think it's because in a grocery store especially, everything is so tangible. Um, you know, you have to rotate the milk. You have a separate section for the freezer versus the cold items. Um, if you're not, if you don't sell off all of the uh, peaches, for example, some of them go bad, so you have to rotate um, spoilage. And so it's very tangible as opposed to going to an ATM and having money come out and who knows where it came from. This was, these were items that had a cost. I, I used to check. Um, and we memorized, in those days we didn't have scanners, so we memorized the amount on the milk and the amount on the um, peaches. And um, it was, you could, you could touch it, feel it, smell it, see it. 
So it was very tangible to me. Um, you know, 48 cents was a can of beans. Mm-hmm. It, it had a, an actual, you know, item to it. So it's easy to understand. I love that. And I love that example because so frequently I I find this when I work with people in the money arena as well, that people are very disconnected from their money and their relationship with it. And it seems like it's just these numbers and amounts, but not really connecting to who they are and what they're wanting in life and what they're building and what they're doing. And with so many of the cards and ATM and automated ways that we can interact with our money, I think it creates even more of a distance. So I love that um, you had a very different experience and are able to help people really kind of connect those dots so that the the dollars and the price ties into very directly what's being given and provided and worked for. So thank you. Now, did you have a father or a male figure of some sort that you'd like to acknowledge for a moment and that impacted your life? Actually, I'm fortunate to have four generations of entrepreneurs. So my great-grandfather was born in San Francisco in 1870. So to give you a timeline, Ulysses S. Grant was the president. Mm -hmm. He became a master plumber. Uh, so he put plumbing, running water, in people's homes before running water was invented. So I don't know who taught him wow. plumbing, mm-hmm. <laughs> but somehow, um, and, he, and I believe the family stories are that he worked for the Zellerbacks and the f- flood uh, families in San Francisco and put running water in their big Victorian houses so they had water on the second floor. Um, both of my grandfathers were entrepreneurs. My grandfather on one side was... Um, a public accountant before there was a CPA, and my yep. other grandfather and my dad owned the grocery store. So four generations of, of men that um, just saw outside the box. My grandfather was one of the first to have a freezer. My grandmother told him, you know, no one's going to ever buy frozen spinach, and he was right. People would. So <laughs> just lots of innovation. I love it, and I'm grateful for indoor plumbing. I am grateful for freezers <laughs> and, the, and the entrepreneurial legacy that um, has been passed on to you and the um, creativity that your family, generation after generation, and you, I have seen this in you as well, are able to bring to people and see things and anticipate things and needs and trends and really bring practical solutions, very visionary. So I appreciate that um, about you, and I appreciate the the legacy that they have passed down through all of us <laughs> in our generations. I again appreciate those inventions very, very much. <laughs> and shifting gears, a little, so thank you for for sharing that. And shifting gears a little bit, we've been talking about success. We've been talking about star power and. How, or I wanted to know your take on this. So how can appreciating our unique strengths help us feel comfortable with charging our worth? Because I find a lot of entrepreneurs, particularly women, and, and I find this actually in the corporate world too. So this I think is a universal that we don't really stand our ground and charge what we're worth. There's a discomfort. So how can we lean into our strengths, understand them, help us become more comfortable and confident in charging things, charging what we're worth? Well, that's such a great question, and it really is a mindset, and and it really does require changing your mindset. So I think, especially for women, we're such caregivers and fix-it type people. So we think first of how can I fix this as opposed to something, a commodity I'm doing for someone. So using my my grocery store, um, you know, you wouldn't feel comfortable or it's not even normal to bring all of your items to the checkout stand and and turn to the clerk and say, well, you know what, I'm just going to take this home because I really, really need it and I'll come back next week and pay you for it. Mm. You know, you're just not going to do that. But yet somehow we feel like if we're helping someone, the holistic healers, the chiropractors, the consultants, you know, all these wonderful ladies with their extreme talent want to fix your problem first and get paid later. So it really is a, a seeing what you're doing as a service, and you're actually helping the person 
to take it more seriously by asking them to pay you, I think. Beautiful. I agree. I think it's really important to have clarity on what you're offering and what the value is and boundaries around it. And I think there's all kinds of approaches that can be used. Layaway plans, <laughs> you can do payment plans, you know, where people can stretch and uh, things can become accessible to them. But I, I agree. I think it um, doesn't really serve to, you know, just pay me when you can kind of attitude. So um, thank you for sharing about that. And then I know you love bookkeeping <laughs> and you find not everybody feels that way. <laughs> so how can we maybe change our attitude around bookkeeping that we can like it a little bit more like you do? And how does that help us charge what we're worth? I'm, I'm hoping that this, this comes across the way, the way I'm intending it. So what we had in the grocery store was the office was up on the second floor. So you actually left where you were doing your regular work went up to the second floor, and that's where the office was. So what I invite business owners to do for themselves is kind of change your hat. Leave, leave your normal, especially the holistic healers and, and all the wonderful coaches, leave where you normally work. You can still be at your business, but kind of mentally shift yourself and, and go to a higher level of being the CEO. You are the um, Henry Ford of your company. You're the... You're the CEO, the president, the inventor, the owner, and kind of mentally go to a higher level, almost like um, putting on a formal or putting on a prom dress. You're in a, you're in a different space, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't make spaghetti in a prom dress because you wouldn't want to get it dirty. So, um, you know, think of yourself like, like, act like you're in something special. You're putting on this, this. Um, appearance of being special and do something special for yourself and look at your numbers. Look at be a CEO. Look at what you want. See how it's working with your vision. Make sure that, you know, hopefully you're making a profit and you want to have um, a sustainable, profitable business, but do it from a place of the big guy in the big chair kind of thinking. Or the big gal in the throne. I like that. (laughs) I want to be the queen. I want to be on my throne, a queen of of my business. (laughs) Exactly. Beautiful. Thank you. Well, we have just a moment before we're going to shift to our next commercial break. So listeners, um, make sure that you stay with us to the end. We have another exciting interview that we're going to be doing at the end of the show. I'll let you know how to access these amazing gifts. And do you, we only have about 30, 45 seconds, Gail. Will you be able to explain your gift in that amount of time? Or do you want me to do it when we come back from our commercial break? Oh, no, that's fine. Um, what I do is I do a one-hour interview with my clients and just kind of see what's going on. Again, try to uh, discover their strengths, what part they're doing well, and then add on to that. So it's starting from where you are now and what's your next step. So um, I have that available to people just to have a discovery session of um, what's going on in their business. Perfect. Thank you. It's very, very generous. And listeners, when you have the opportunity to talk with an expert for a half hour or an hour, that's really, really valuable. So I encourage you, if some of her shares have pulled at your heart, to really honor that opportunity. I know you'll be glad and I know she'll open up some great areas of information and she'll encourage you too because she likes to celebrate. So (laughs) I love that and she'll celebrate what you're doing well. Uh, So with that, lean into our next commercial break and I will look forward to talking to you in just a moment. Thanks, Rebecca. Your favorite Voice America Talk Radio Network shows and hosts are in your car, outdoors, and wherever you need them to be. Listen anywhere. Get our mobile app for iPhone, BlackBerry, or Android at the Apple iTunes App Store, BlackBerry App World, or Android Market. 
Are you struggling with changing or re-entering your career? Terry Hockett, CEO of What's for Work and transitional career strategist, works with her clients to craft their personal brand, gain clarity, and create career opportunities. Terry helps her clients discover and stand in their value and learn the tools and techniques needed to successfully navigate today's changing job market. Start today with your free membership. Step powerfully into the career of your dreams. Join Terry at whatsforwork.com. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for people like you. With just one seven-minute audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities. This is a dynamic way to share your message, reach more people, and expand your impact. Apply now at yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Finalists get to audition live in front of community leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Don't wait. Find out more. Visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Become our friend on Facebook. Post your thoughts about our shows and network on our timeline. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed your commercial break. You got a moment to stretch a little bit because I guarantee you will want to lean into this next segment. Make sure those ears are open, (laughs) eyes ready to see, and heart ready to hear and beat with the rhythm of the information being provided. Our next guest is a good friend of mine who... My goodness, Jen, we've been on this journey for a while together. Is it five years, six years? It's probably more than that. Mm. Yeah, six? about five. Yeah, about five, five years, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. So we both know a lot of the behind the scenes about each other, too, that we will never share. <laughs> <We're the adventures. laughs> that is true. <laughs> But I just really honored to have um, Jen Duchenne on the show today. She has such wisdom and expertise in what she brings forward. And she, her title, what she calls herself, is a success astronumerologist. Did I pronounce that correctly, Jen? Yes, beautiful. Okay. <laughs> she is a powerful healer. And in this, I'll need you pr- to pronounce. Can you say the type of healer? Oh, Akashic. Akashic. Okay, good. Akashic, yes. Akashic <laughs> healer. See, this is why I needed help, so thank you. <laughs> and we're beautiful just the way we are, so thank you for, for helping there. Um, a speaker, an author, and she really helps people step into their soulful, so S-O-U-L, soulful version of their success. Powerful, powerful healer. And really passionate about helping women around the world step into their success path, not anyone else's. So I really appreciate that about you, Jen, and I welcome you officially to the show. Thank you, Rebecca. I'm delighted to be here. It's such a privilege to have this uh, opportunity. Thank you. Well, I wanted to pause here for a moment and ask you my why question. Why this work of being a success astronumerologist, helping women in this way, in their stepping into their success path, why is that work personally so important to you? Yeah, wow, what a question. Well, <laughs> you know, it's... <laughs> my why is because I truly believe in freedom, the freedom mm. that... Every one of us, you know, like the work you do, empowering women, empowering everyone to speak in their own voice and have the freedom to to actually be who they're meant to be. You know, I think we're all powerful beings. And I'm driven by the, the uh, belief that 
if we want to be healed, if we want to move forward, then we need help. And that's mm-hmm. what I'm here for, to help people speak in their true voices. Beautiful. Thank you. I know, I believe it's not a solo journey. <laughs> Life is not a solo journey. And it's <laughs> so important to have community connection and support on that journey and help. So thank you. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to to give you the same opportunity I gave Gail. If there was a male influence in your life in some way that you wanted to acknowledge um, in honor of Father's Day this month. Mm. Well, yes, I would love to. I think uh, fathers are important. And uh, as the male energy, you know, you know, woman, we can't survive without men. So I think, mm-hmm. that, you know, acknowledging all males and females is a good thing. For somebody who was who was really um, powerful in my life, and to with a nod to Gail, you know, I come from a line of entrepreneurs as well, business people. My dad uh, was had his own business. Uh, um, you know, I have generations of family on both sides that had their own businesses. Um, and my dad was a very powerful influence in my life. He was very successful, very focused, but he also uh, uh, was a dreamer. Mm-hmm. And he always used to tell me when I was a little girl, you know, be the captain of your ship, be the master of your fate. And mm-hmm. he always encouraged me to to be independent and earn my own living so I wouldn't ever have to rely on anyone else. That is beautiful, profound advice. I, that's why I'm just... Listeners, lean into that. <laughs> um, be <laughs> the captain of your ship, the master of your fate. Really beautiful advice. And I love that he was a dreamer yet very focused. What a what a beautiful um, person. I, I, I don't even know how to say combination. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. Just a beautiful combination that he had and that he has so powerfully influenced you to be the captain of your ship and the master of your fate and having that entrepreneurial mindset to really encourage you and empower you on that journey is beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. So no plumbing in the background? Uh, no. Okay. (laughs) 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 No, no. Although I did both, my grandfathers were both um, minors for a while. Okay. So... But my dad always said it was a good career to be a plumber, right? You can you always had business. That yep. was his you know, he always said that if you took if you did something that people needed, you'd always have a you'd always have money. You'd always have work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good advice. Very smart. Well, shifting gears. So thank you for, for sharing with me <laughs> and um acknowledging your father and all of the, the wonderful males that we have in our life and have influenced us for generations. So shifting to success, what does success mean? How how do you help women with this concept of success? Well, you know, the thing for me is, like I said, success, or what I believe in is that success, which is actually, you know, I will look at the num- numerology of it, which is the mm-hmm. number eight. And eight is a number of manifesting, which is making things real. So it's about taking your dreams and looking in your heart and looking in your mind as well as um, your spirit, you know, what moves you and being able to create it in a way that um, brings you joy as well as uh, flourishes, right? It's like Mm -hmm. creating or growing an apple tree and then the apple tree... uh, grows fruit, and then the fruit drops down and there's seeds. So not only does it feed others, it feeds you, but it uh, creates more apple trees. Right. So that's kind of the bigger umbrella of how I see success. But the truth is that each of us has our own idea of what we're here to do and that we should honor that because only we know what lights us up. Only we know what makes us feel successful. Beautiful. Thank you. I think that is so important because just in the the story that I had shared in the beginning that I let for so many years people define my definition of success that I stopped listening to my how I was feeling in it 
And it wasn't Mm -hmm. until I arrived because I just thought I needed to go to the next step and then I'd feel good about it and the next step and I'd feel good about it. And then I get to the top of the mountaintop and I'm like, this is not, this is not how I want it to be (laughs) or feel I don't (laughs) like this. (laughs) That was a lot of work too. And so it started to, I started to look at things differently and listening was a really key component in that transition. So I love that you're encouraging people to really lean in and listen and to and, and to honor their voice of what success is. And that's, that's so, so mm. key and important. So thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And then how can numerology help us with our, our businesses and our life and specifically with success and really stepping into center stage of our life? Well, that's a, you know, a great question. And, you know, when we talk about success, of course, every word you know, has a number it's related to. And every number means something, just as success does. It's this idea of creating an energy that we're connected to. And so for people, a woman, to understand that they create their own success by knowing who they are and understanding their own numbers, like who are they? Because you've got to know who you are in order to be successful, right? A lot of times we have these ideas, like you were saying, you have an idea of what success means or what you're supposed to do or what you're good at or bad at, and a lot of it isn't even true, right? Because you've never mm-hmm. actually seen the bigger picture of yourself. And so that's what uh, you know. I do. I help women see who they really are, see themselves in, in an unfaltered way, in a new way, like, wow, I didn't even realize I had that, that ability. And yes, it makes sense. Now I realize why I'm dealing with certain things or how I respond to certain things. So that's part of the numbers, knowing your numbers, because it's a roadmap to your life and to how you create success. It's, we come in with all these numbers, and once you know how to use them, it changes everything. As well as, go ahead. Oh, I was just, I wanted to underline that because I I was saying wonderful because the having the roadmap to our life and I was just thinking I would have saved so many years and so many climbs up mountaintops if Mm. I had gotten help from someone that could actually help me connect to my numbers, to myself, to my gifts and to what my roadmap is, the numbers I've been given in life. So what a a powerful gift. And I just wanted to pause for a moment and have the listeners really sink into that and see the power of it. And we are getting ready to go to our next commercial break, but I wanted to give you an opportunity to share about your amazing gift so they can be leaning towards it with anticipation. So what is the great gift (laughs) that you've prepared for us? Thanks so much, Rebecca. So my gift is uh, an actual, uh, I've created this chart. It's uh, success by the numbers in eight steps. So using the numbers, you actually get the steps that you can use to apply with whatever you're doing to find that way to success. I love that. And so just to expand on this, so that gives people clarity. That's one of the big things I hear people wanting all the time is Uh, clarity. (laughs) Yes, that gives them clarity. It's a process because, you know, no matter what you're looking at that you want to create success around, you know, you set an intention, you have to know how to get there. So even though uh, your actual journey may be different, you still need to know a process or steps that you can use and apply. So... That's what I've created. It actually makes it really easy. Like, what st- where am I in the process and what do I need to do now and how do I really honor this moment now instead of rushing ahead? Powerful, powerful. Thank you. I love it. So everyone who's been looking for clarity, wants to know the how, the next steps, wants to play according to their strengths, here's a chart to help you do that. <laughs> so when you come, we come back from commercial break, the time goes so quickly, I will let you know right away how to access the amazing gift Jen and gifts, I should say, Jen and Gail have provided you. So we'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. Your favorite Voice America Talk Radio Network shows and hosts are in your car, outdoors, and wherever you need them to be. Listen anywhere. Get our mobile app for iPhone, BlackBerry, or Android at the Apple iTunes App Store, BlackBerry App World, or Android Market. Are you struggling with changing or re-entering your career? 
Terry Hockett, CEO of What's for Work and transitional career strategist, works with her clients to craft their personal brand, gain clarity, and create career opportunities. Terry helps her clients discover and stand in their value and learn the tools and techniques needed to successfully navigate today's changing job market. Start today with your free membership. Step powerfully into the career of your dreams. Join Terry at whatsforwork.com. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for people like you. With just one seven-minute audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities. This is a dynamic way to share your message, reach more people, and expand your impact. Apply now at yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Finalists get to audition live in front of community leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Don't wait. Find out more. Visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Become our friend on Facebook. Post your thoughts about our shows and network on our timeline. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed that commercial break and that you are leaning in, (laughs) excited about how to access these amazing gifts. And I wanted to share just the point of why we have these gifts Because it was on my heart when I created this show and vision is that I really wanted to give you valuable information. I wanted to give you great experts who are just the top of in what they do and really hear from their heart as powerful experts and connect with them there and then hear some of the great tips, ideas, suggestion and information that they have to really empower you on your journey. I wanted to give you an opportunity to pause in your life and listen and receive information. But then I wanted to go a step beyond that. So here's part of my dream, my vision, is that I wanted to create a show that could get traction in your life, that could be transformational, that could empower you on your journey, not just when we're on the show together, but going forward. And so that's why I have my guests, and I ask them to, they're not forced, it is voluntary, (laughs) to give an amazing free gift to empower you on your journey. So they're very generous. They're aligning with their my dream to really empower you on your journey. So I encourage you when you listen to the, sh- the shows that we have and you listen to the gifts that they are bringing forward, these are some of their most amazing things they can give you to serve you and empower you on your journey so that this becomes a living transformational experience for you. So that's the heart behind these gifts and why we're bringing them forward. So I really encourage you to lean in. And here's how to access them. You go to www.radiogifts.net. That's gifts, plural. So radiogifts.net. And that will open up a world of gifts and opportunities to empower you on your journey. And you can take and say yes to as many of them as you would like or as few as support you on your journey. So I really encourage you to say yes to yourself and yes to moving forward in a a powerful way. And some of my clients, they don't like homework. Sometimes they, they think that next step is homework. And so I call it an extra credit bonus opportunity. (laughs) So that's what this is. It's an extra credit bonus opportunity for you to move forward really powerfully on radiogifts.net. And I asked behind the scenes, again, this was voluntary. I'm not forcing them (laughs) if my guests (laughs) and my experts would share one more tip or piece of advice or a quick message that had been laid on their heart to share with you. And they both said yes. So, Jen, do you have something that you would like to share with us today? Yes, I, you know, I'm always grateful to have an opportunity to share advice with women to help them empower their voices 
I, I think one of the key things, you know, whether you're looking at numbers or healing yourself is um, to really, you know, in the beginning, uh, Rebecca, you talked something about, you know, well, we said it in my section, to be number one, right? Mm -hmm. It's not just about a solo journey, but still we need to know who we are. So I encourage women to really understand who they are, to get to know themselves on a deep level and to honor that and honor how they feel about it because, you know, we are not on a solo journey, but in order to be on a journey together, we really need to stand in who we are. Yep. And that includes the emotions, exactly. I think sometimes we disconnect from them. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We have full permission and invitation <laughs> to step <laughs> forward. <laughs> yes, yes. Own your power. Love it. <laughs> How about you, Gail? Did you have a tip, a piece of advice, something laid on your heart? Last thoughts? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, I think it's to help women realize it's okay to be smart about money. It's mm. okay to be st strategic and have that relationship with money because especially now with the swipe your card, you know, all the money goes in and out without you even seeing it. It's happening anyway. And it's okay to, like Jen said, grasp the wheel, be, be the steer of your ship, and know what's going on with your money and be smart about it. Beautiful. Thank you. Absolutely. So I'm thinking here, here is she sharing that because I think we we create those wall and distance from our money and there's a lot of in that that gap that's created a lot of judgment, a lot of harshness, a lot of criticism that we lay upon ourselves instead of kind of releasing all of that that static and fog that we've created and really let's find out. Let's see where I'm at. Let's understand it so that I can be empowered instead of held back or disempowered by that fog. And absolutely, I think it's okay to be smart about money, to be smart about our numbers, to be smart about our life, to be the CEO <laughs> and really step into the center. So beautiful. Thank you. You're so li listeners, let's take a moment to kind of lean in again. We talked about success and your star power. You were given some great tips and insights from Gail and Jen, some practical things to talk about, to think about, to lean into mindset shifts that can really empower you on your journey. So let's just for a moment, pause and lean in, take a breath. And what are one or two things or up to three <laughs> that you want to start applying in your life? Is it putting on the CEO hat or the formal <laughs> as you're looking at the numbers in your life and how it's flowing? Is it really leaning in and understanding what your numbers are, your roadmap, how you're wired so that you can lean into your definition of success, not someone else's? And what support do you need in all of these areas? Because I believe we do need support. And, and I want expert support, frankly. I want experts on my side <laughs> supporting me on my journey. I want them to know more than I do in these different areas so I can learn and grow as they're supporting me on my journey that it, I know it's not a solo journey. And I didn't know that in the beginning when I was chasing other people's definitions of success. So remind yourself it's not a solo journey. And who do you want on your team in life to support you, to encourage you, to really step fully into the center stage of your life? Because I believe each and every one of you are uniquely made beautifully and differently <laughs> on purpose and with a purpose and that you were created for such a time as this exactly how you're made is absolutely needed and those in your life that have come into contact with you those who will be coming into contact for you are leaning in 
They want to see you shine. They want to be impacted by the amazing gifts and talents and abilities that you have and that you are. So I invite you to take on the challenge, the extra credit bonus opportunity. Keep a little chart celebrating things along the way. What a certificate of success. (laughs) I've stepped into my star power. What are the things that you can start doing and bringing forward? So with every breath, every choice that you make, you're leaning into more of you more of your definition of success, more fully who you are and bringing that to those around you because you are a valuable, needed part of the garden of life. And I want you to always, always, always bloom where you're planted and shine. We look forward to talking to you next week. Thanks, Rebecca. Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you for being on the show. And listeners, thank you. (laughs) Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Women's Channel. And join us for a replay of the show every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine.